everyone, it's Deb from Frog Cottage Designs. Today is Monday the 7th of December and oh, it's almost Christmas. I don't think I'm ready yet. I've got the bulk of the presents. Um, I just have a few more things to buy, hopefully this week or next week. Um, we're having Christmas at my daughter's in Sydney for my granddaughter because it'll be her first Christmas and my other big daughter from... Perth is flying in, yay, borders are open and we can uh, see her first time in about 18 months, two years. So I'm really excited for that. Um, there hasn't been a lot going on in the last couple of weeks, stitching wise. I have been trying to stitch. It's been really hard, but apart from having my Frog Cottage Design website where I've got the cross stitching and threads and everything, I originally had uh, Lost in Play, which is nature-based uh, toys, handmade toys. And when I got into cross-stitching, I decided to add Lost in Thread to my website and I purchased um, cross-stitching and hand-dyed threads. So I've been really busy on the Lost in Play side. A lot of people probably have seen it on Instagram. I make tic-tac-toe boards with... Um, little branch discs so the branches are cut up and I paint on those discs and I have all bugs so I've got ants and bees dragonflies and ladybirds and caterpillars and grasshoppers I have scavenger hunt little tags I would burn those um, 10 objects and I sell that with a bag uh, for kids to go out in a park in their backyard and look for things, so scavenger hunt. That's a good seller. I also make peg dolls, and I have some on um, inspired by uh, superheroes, Disney princesses, and PJ Masks. Now, I also do story stones as well, sorry. That's where you have a bag full of stones, and they're related to a theme. So say uh, prehistoric, and what you do is put all the stones in a bag and your child pulls out the stones one at a time and tries to make up a story. So uh, they pull out one stone and it might be a dinosaur. So once upon a time there was a dinosaur that roamed the earth. And then when they're a bit stuck, they put their hand in and pull out another stone. And it might be fire or a caveman or something. So... I have, I think, about 10 themes of those, space, fairy tales, camping. I also have three sets of Aboriginal stories, um, Tiddalick the Frog, Dunby the Owl, and How the Birds Got Their Colour. And I, when I used to sell all these things to preschools, my story stones were a big seller. But apart from that, a lady bought uh, PJ Masks, Little Peg Dolls, and some story stones from me last week. And then she contacted me and asked, she loved the PJ Masks little peg dolls and asked if I would make the Wiggles and Bluey. Now I know Bluey is a new animated, Australian animated series on a blue cattle dog, but I haven't watched it or anything. So she sent me a picture and this morning I've just uh, sealed them. So I'll just show you what they are. So just little Bluey, that's his mate Bingo or something, I think. And then that set's got two other little ones in it as well. So that's uh, Bluey and, what did I say, Bingo or Dingo or something? So I'll have to watch it. My girlfriend watches it and she said there's a lot of hidden adult humour in that. And the other ones, which everyone will probably be able to guess who they are, uh the wiggle dolls so she asked me to do a set of wiggle dolls for her and also last week a lady contacted me and asked me to make um, a peg doll family based on her family and she just sent me pictures of her kids what they like and I should have taken a picture of that because they were quite cute and she was happy with those so I've been really busy because I hand paint those and seal them so um, I've been quite busy with those orders the last couple of weeks I did an ad on a, a rural page on Facebook where you introduce introduce yourself talk about your business and have a few pictures 
and I was inundated with like about 25 orders. So poor stitching went on the back burner. So hopefully those orders are settled down now. I don't really want to do much more now before Christmas because like everybody, you know, there's lots to do at Christmas time. But what else have we done? Um, what I'll do is I'll get into the uh, patterns I've worked on. But before I do, um, a lot of people on Instagram, Facebook would have seen down the rabbit hole, the new cross stitch mag, digital cross stitch magazine in Australia. And that's done by Nicole from Darvaline Design Studios and Tia from Calm Creations. And I was their featured designer for their first issue. Yay! With my pattern, Aussie Christmas. Whoa! And this has really um, been a fun experience for me. Um, this is the second thing I've designed. And the magazine's gone really well. And in my stories, I've been putting uh, pics where people have been actually stitching design, which is really nice. So that's that one. And I'll leave the link for the new Aussie magazine uh, down below in my show notes. And it's only six ninety five Australian. And the first issue was well over 40 pages. So um, it has tutorials, stitching. I think they're doing, a, if you want to do a cross-stitch planner or a quilt planner, they're actually putting a one page each issue so you can build your own planner there's um finishing tutorials as well so take a look and i'll leave the link below so while i'm plugging that i might as well plug my own this is my merry i think i can't even remember what the name of this design is but that's i made that one for my dough bowl and that's on my website under frog cottage designs and my other design i made was Santa and his friends. So they're PDF digital and they're available on my um, website. So enough of that and to stitching. So where were we up to? I've just been um, trying to pick up a few things I haven't touched for a while. I also have been doing my tiny decisions wheel. I have been seriously contemplating I have joined the No Whips 2021 group. Um, I've looked at all my whips. I've got 32, I think, and there's some more that I really want to start. So I've got a couple of days before I have to put all um, my whips where I'm up to in my folder on that face group book, uh, Facebook group, um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I just, you know, you watch Floss Tube. There's so many enablers out there. They're awful. Um, I've only bought, I bought two patterns and I was waiting for an order from 123 Stitch and um, just ran up to the letterbox and it hasn't arrived. So hopefully it'll arrive tomorrow. But at, that had a few patterns in it. So there's no way I'd be able to get 200 stitches in all of these before the end of December. So... Not sure how I'm going to do 2021, but um, let me know what you're doing and put in the comments below and uh, I'll see how I go. But at the moment, I'm just going to use the little decision wheel, one for my whips and one for my stitch alongs. Oh, this is, um, I don't even sure what it's called. Oops, I've got a corner of my ring, sorry. I've been working on this for about three weeks. It's a little reindeer. And what's it say, Mary? So that's a design, that a uh, new design that I was working on. But um, I thought, uh, Christmas is here. We might leave that for next Christmas. So we're working on that. Ah. Pulled out my Halloween Quaker. I haven't got some. I work off uh, Good Notes, so... All my charts and pictures are actually on my iPad, so I don't have the one for this one. But this is Halloween Quaker. So I think I've finished here and I've done this one. And this is on a 32 count linen murky. I can't wait to get a new color. I'm getting a bit sick of the, what's this one? Black coffee. 
which is out of stock everywhere, by the way. If you know a store that's got black coffee, let me know. I know the week's equivalent is Onyx, but and I do have a few of those, but um, I think this pattern uses quite a few black coffee. So if you know, if you have some, or you would like to um, sell me some, let me know in the comments below. Let's have a look next. Oh, I pulled this out the other day. I do have a picture of this one. This was from the Bee Well and Stitch movement. And this was Barbara Anna, The Light. I finished, what was the other one called? The Key. I finished that one. But I pulled it out the other day. And this one's on 32, 32... I think this is a linen as well, but it's murky. And there's the key that I finished ages ago. But um, this is where I'm up to. So where did I work on? I just stitched here the other night. Just here. Just love all Barbara Anna's at the moment. All her... What have I got going? Something Wicked, Forest Queen. I've got The Light. And a few more in my... Um, there's a PDF downloads that I've got on the pewter. What's the next one we got? Ah. This is, I've got this one. Because I've got two copies of this one. This is Coffee Quaker by Heartstring Samplery. I do like all the Quakers at the moment. And this is on Country Mocha 32 count. Oh, hold on, which way we go like this? So I finished up here and I've worked down here since last time. I do love all the colours, all the browns. I think this one will be a lovely one when it's finished. Oops. Some of these are a surprise. Oh yes, this one I've got a picture of. This is I Belong to Cross Stitch Nation, again by a Heartstring Samplery. This one I've admired for years and I finally started. So I did bit a bit more of this one. Sorry. Oh, just have to stop. There's the phone. Hmm. Should have done something about that phone. My husband is in town today. And without fail, every time he goes somewhere and I think, oh, I'll do my floss tube, he always rings. <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure where I'm up to, but sorry. Oh, yes, I showed you. I belong to Cross Stitch Nation by Heartstring Samplery. And this is where I'm up to. I do like this. And the colours, it's lovely. Now, this is on a 32 count, just natural, natural pernum, pernum linen. For that one. Oops. What else have we got? This one is Spell of the Moon by Blackbird Designs. So cute. And this is on a 32 murky linen somewhere. There it is. Now, which way does that go? Oh, yeah, it goes this way. Just move the cotton out of the way. And you can see the um, owl starting on that one. This is why I like the hand-dyed thread, that variegation. It's lovely. It'd be nice if... Um, What's her name? DMC had a few more, but I don't really like their variegation. Just here, we can hardly get any any um, hand-dyed threads. Well, you can get them, but not the colours that you want. So, lucky most of my stitch-alongs are in um, DMC, which is good. Uh, this one I worked on yesterday. This one's really shiny. I'll just pull it up. And this is, with thy needles and thread, Bowers of Holly. 
one's hoop. And this one's on a natural linen again. Oops. Ah. Sorry, all the bits and pieces. Just fix up the threads. And I've started um, doing the smile. So I did about six or seven rows there yesterday. That one's lovely. I think I'll make this one into a cushion. Looks quite cute. They did it in a cushion. But I'd um, like some sort of trim along there. What's the next one we got? I haven't joined in with any Christmas stitch alongs or anything. I've um, been a bit busy kid-wise. I've got one child at home that's been home. I think this is his third week now. Um, he wasn't coping at school socially. He has autism. And the school felt that because he was getting in trouble all the time, has been disruptive. Um verbal abuse, all that sort of stuff. They thought it'd be better if he just stayed home and worked on his mental health. So he's home. He's just finished his um, schoolwork for the day, which is good. And we're waiting on the school to give him some more work. Um, so that's quite hard. That's another thing why I haven't been doing much stitching. He's in his third week. So he's home. I've got to sit with him. It's back to COVID times, quarantine, isn't it? Where we sat with the kids for a couple of hours every day to do their work. So that's what I've been doing with him. <sighs> Hopefully next year will be better. Uh, this is all my favourite. This is the linen and thread 2020 stitch along. And I worked, oops, down the bottom here. And I'm only in March. So that's, so that's it so far. So I think I just have to do this part and then I'm on to April. So I don't think I'll start the next year's. I really need to um, finish this one. It's quite windy here today. We've had um, heat waves, or they say heat waves, you know, 39, 40 degrees, which has been quite hot. But today it's a, quite a mild early 20s. So um, it's just really windy and the wind is cold. Oops. Oh, oh phone again. One moment. That um, was my husband's doctor, so... My husband had a stroke two years ago. Um, oh, first he had prostate cancer and six, six months later he had a mild stroke and then six months later he had his hernia out or something. So his health hasn't been the best. But with the COVID on and everything, you can. Um, our doctors still do a lot of phone call Um you know, they talk to them. We've got a blood pressure kit at home, so he takes his blood pressure and everything. But that was good because my husband hasn't been feeling well of late and has been having some nosebleeds. He also suffers from high blood pressure. So um, I just got a little word in there saying he should be doing a face-to-face. -face. You need to see that he's not well. So sometimes it's good when the phone rings. Anyway, back to this. Oop. Oh, I'll just put all those in the back. This is Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. And that's a stitch along I started with Nicole from Darwin, Darwin Lee Designs um, Studios. And they're just doing Hawk Run Hollow. So I think it's hashtag HRH Sal 2020. So I've started and I'm doing the Halloween one. So I'm doing this one up here. And of course, this is on um, Country Mocha, Country Mocha 32. We say Mocha, so Country Mocha in Australia. That's why I get confused. I'll just put this in. And of course, I bought double the material, but 
this is where I'm up to. And I just love that little moon's face. So cute. Yeah. So that's about all I've been uh, stitching this fortnight. I did have um, some more purchases and I've been waiting from one, two, three stitch. Instead of taking eight weeks, our orders are now only taking about two and a half weeks, which is really good. But um, for my Adams Family sale, I did stitch on my Adams Family and I don't know, just had a gut feeling again and I did the measure again. I bought new fabric again and it's too short. I think I'm getting my width right, but my length. I think I get so excited when I see the colour I like and I go, yep, that's that. Oh, yeah, that should be right. Bang. But uh, Adam's family is quite a deep um, house when you stitch it up. So in the end, I just bought a huge piece from 123 Stitch and it left uh, Australian quarantine on the 6th. What did I say today was? Oh, the 7th. Why did I think? No. It left on the 4th. That's right. So I thought, oh, it should be in the mailbox, but uh, we are rural. We're three hours, three and a half hours west of Sydney. So hopefully I'll be there tomorrow. I just didn't want to wait another day to do my floss tube um, because I probably wouldn't get around to doing it. So that's all I've got. Oh, I've got one haul. <laughs> I'll show you. And you know what? I did buy two and... They were from after I watched Kansas City Girl in a Colorado world. Uh, she, her and um, made by Michelle McGraw and probably Breeze Stitching are my biggest um, enablers, I feel, at the moment. So um, I think um, Julie was doing a sale on the weekend and something to do with black, I honestly can't remember. But um, she was doing a Jane Austen quote, and I really liked it. So I've got a lot of country mocha, um, so I thought I would do this one. And I've got some silky threads that I bought just to see the colour from 123 Stitch, and it's called Nearly Black. So it's sort of like a black coffee, sort of grey-black. So hopefully I'd like to stitch this one. So I might kit that up. Uh, today or tomorrow and uh, put that in my list of whips so hopefully I um, might be able to see something on this there was another one that she stitched and I bought it and I usually put it in my folder my Etsy folder and the names like I don't know what this is called this is called real comfort so I would have found it hard to try and um, find this one I can't remember what it was called and I've got like 50 PDFs in there so by the time I open them all so I'll have to go back through my emails or my purchases on Etsy so I'll have to show that next week so that's my one and only I have bought thread that hasn't arrived so um yeah so that's all I've got for you today um Everything I've mentioned today, or the websites, floss tubes, I'll list down below. Um, if you like, subscribe, like this video, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I try, I aim, I do try, but I do aim to do a floss tube every fortnight. So um, that's it for me. Uh, happy stitching. But oh, I better say, hello, Miss Lily, my biggest fan. My girlfriend Chrissy, her daughter, Miss Lily, is always sending me messages. Floss tube, floss tube. So, hi Lily, I've done one, okay? All right, talk to you all soon. Bye.